So as I'm sitting here thinking about what video I, I want to do, I hear this voice. And he said, why so serious? Then my computer screen starts flashing, and this shows up. And he said, why so serious? Now I have the inspiration for my next video. Cue the intro. So now you know exactly who the video is about. And before we get into the meat and potatoes of uh, what Deshaun Elliott has done for us so far, uh, first thing I need you to do for me is subscribe. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And also, once you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I drop random videos like this one that's about to drop in the middle of the night because that's when I'm recording it. So um, if you like what you see, you know, subscribe, share, uh, share it on your social media, share it, share it in your group chats, uh, share it on Reddit. Um, I appreciate all the, the follows and the support I've been getting lately. We are pushing 5K. Hopefully, we get to 5K uh, soon. Um, you know, we can have a little celebration, maybe a little giveaway or something. But um, without further ado, let's get into what Deshaun Elliott has given us so far this year to kind of make us forget about the fact that we let go a guy that's all pro. All right, so like we normally do, we're going to let this play, play through first. And then we'll come back and talk about what we see. So I will highlight, you know, the Joker on this play. Not much to say about it from that view because you, I really like what I saw from the back view of this. Here he is right here. Not right there. <laughs> right here. 32. In the box, being versatile. So versatility is one of the things I love about him. So now he's playing, playing the run first. Eyes on the QB. Eyes on the QB. Ferguson has this mesh kind of locked out, and he's playing it like he normally should play it, and we talked about that last week. Now he realized the QB has it, and Ferguson kind of in no man's land because he thought the running back had it, but that's not the focus right now. He realized the QB has it, and watch him attack. Watch him attack. Now, I've stopped him. There's The QB's probably not going to get any more yards out of me. So I can do what I need to do because the cavalry's coming to try to get it out. And the TV view had a great angle of him ripping this ball out and it being in, and it moving before um, Wentz or whatever his name is hit the ground. Maybe we can see it a little bit better on the side view. Let's, 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 run, let's run the side view. Attack. Bam. Now, unless Wentz is a truck, he's not getting any more yards. Maybe one. Maybe one and a half. Ripped it out. You see him rip it out. That, was, that wasn't a fumble where Wentz just dropped the ball. He ripped that thing up out of there. Learning from Marlon. And I think he mentioned, you know, learning from Marlon also, like how to get that out and trying to force the turnovers or whatnot. Let's go on to play two. Deshaun is right here. Let it run. Bid on the play fake with Hertz, and everybody did. <laughs> These two guys went that way. Somebody right here going that way. And the running back that has the ball is right there. So they bid on the Hertz act. They did a good job of using Hertz right here, and we bid on it. And we know it becomes a foot race. Don't give up on the play. Look at him. Not giving up on the play. Not giving up on the play. Not giving up on the play. Now, I got you. You ran all these yards and we kind of messed up. I got you. Now, let me see if I can get that thing out of there. Poke it out. Poke it out of there. Just luckily, luckily, swat at it right there. Knock it out. Knock it out and rip. Came out. That you know, luckily they just were able to fall on it. But great effort running how many yards? How many yards he he got took him to get on the field? Because he could have quit on this play. He could have pulled Earl Thomas and been like, you know, I can't catch him. Let's see where he at when he starts to when the track meet starts actually. 
So he sees him on the 25, and, you know, uh, Miles, Miles, whatever his name is, just going to burst up out of there. So now he has a, what, two-yard lead, about three-yard lead. About a, now, he's already closing the gap. Still running. It's about a three-yard lead. Now, we're complaining because Peters didn't get this fumble, but Peters makes it cut back. Peters makes it cut back. Peters gives Elliott a chance to make this play. A lot of, you know, that's not being said by a lot of people. Because he forces Miles Sanders, I think, to cut back, which allows Elliott to close that two to three yard cushion and get his hand on it. Now, we were complaining about Peters stopping, myself included. This guy just throttled down too. And I just saw it right before I stopped it. Is this, I don't know if it's Queen or not, but he throttled down too. Just watch, Let's watch it live and watch this dude right here. He's going to throttle down too while we all own Peter's butt. Only person didn't stop running, Marlo. Only person didn't stop running is Marlo. But next play, effort, effort. Versatility, effort, first two plays. Ellie, drop it down to the box right here. Oh, I had the wrong guy marked. My bad. <laughs> I know what he did. He he had this long blitz on this one and tipped the ball. My bad. Jimmy and Ellie kind of look alike to me in this one. Here he is right here. My bad. Players mess up. He going to blitz since I, since I already ran it. He going to be on this side. Blitz all the way over here. Had a well with all to get his hands up because he know he's knows he can't get to Carson Wentz and knocks the ball down. This is one of the longest blitzes. Let me delete that. Oh, somebody think I'm crazy. Now I can't get the Wentz. They're trying to throw it back. Bam, knock it down. Or tip it or whatever, so it'll go down. Football IQ. Football IQ. So first play, we get versatility. Second play, we got effort. This play, we got football IQ. Now, initially, you might think, well, hey, he's following this guy in motion. No, he's coming over here because he's supposed to line up over here. Queen, I think, is following this guy in motion because I think he's a running back. This might be Boston Scott, I think. Football IQ, hand up and get it down because I can't get there. Somebody else does that a lot for us too, and it's Calais Campbell. When he realizes he can't get to the quarterback, gets his big middle there and knocks the ball down. All right? Let's go back a week ago. Go back a week ago to the Bengals game. Elliot, middle of the field right here. Right there. He'll have like a one high look. He's going to be like the rover. So really, he don't have a man. He just got this area in the middle of the field because Chuck Clark has the same area deeper. Robber, not rover. Robber, that's what I meant. Cover one robber. So he's robbing the hole. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Now, open field now with Gio. I think this is Gio Bernardo mixing, one of the two. Both of them got some good feet. Get him out of bounds. Close and get him out of bounds. Keeps the gain at no gain, if I'm not mistaken. Keeps the gain minimal. Just by using his eyes. Using his eyes. And then closing once he realizes the ball is uh, thrown. And the reason I put this in there, because had this been the guy that got cut, uh, you know, he probably got more yards because he's not as fast or not as quick as Deshaun. He's an older guy. He's heady. Now, we actually got it for minus one. That's a minus one. He went out of bounds before he got to that yard marker. So, good job of closing and using the sideline as an extra defender. And the last play, which is this, this is the only way to see it. We got him with versatility, you know, being able to do multiple things on the first play. 
effort in the second play, third play football IQ, uh, fourth play just being athletic and making a tackle in space and, and knowing where he's at on the field to, to use the field as an extra defender, and blitzing. And blitzing. Coming free. Bam! Why did I do that? Just coming free. I really did that because I want to keep seeing him hit Joe over and over. That's why I was trying to do it. Boom. One more time. Judah, we got like some kind of fire zone going. We confuse him. Chuck Clark stands the guy up. Calais Campbell fades on this dude, and it just opens this gap. Make a beeline right to uh, Joe Burrow. He navigates it, lays the wood. And this play during the game, especially with it not being fans there, you could really hear the the audio, and it was it was a nice. It, it was it was one of those ones that you was like ooh. Like when you made like the bitter beer face. But again, do you let dance, buddy? Why so serious? That's the the gist of what we're getting out of Deshaun Elliott. A pleasant surprise. The the other people on the team kind of gave him a, a vote of confidence when Earl got cut or waived or whatever the situation was. And we didn't really know if he could do it. You know, basically, we were just going off of what the guys say. But the guys are supposed to say that. They're teammates. If he sucked, they were still supposed to try to talk him up, you know, to, to boost his confidence to play better. But he hasn't sucked. He's played good ball. He's played solid ball. He's made made that position not be like, okay, y'all not playing well because of the free safety position. He solidified that spot. I think the, the team loves him and, you know, the fans definitely love him. And, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of him before this, but he, he got my confidence. I'm behind him 100%. And so, um, you know, before I get up out of here, I'm just going to hit y'all with this. Before we get out of here, I want to send a huge shout-out to, you know, Heath Ledger, rest in peace, to one of the greatest acting performances ever. Like, ever. And by far, hands down, the greatest portrayal of the Joker, man. Uh, you know, great job, and I love it.